my Nancy. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Awful. <laughs> I still have the bronchitis and this week it's just been really hard. Wow. Some days are a little better than others, but, and I totally forgot to put the, the invitation on. I just totally forgot all about it. Okay. Conception asked me uh, um, for this reason, I send, send your, your mess, the message. Well, I hope she goes ahead and comes on because um, now you use that same code as okay. last. It is the same. I just do it new every week. So as just kind of a reminder or I'm supposed to anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Lena and um, Damaris and I talked last week about having um, changing from Thursday nights to Monday nights in August. And the reason for that is on my Sunday school class, they have a Zoom, they're Zooming the class itself and it's not working very well. I've watched it and, and it doesn't really work very well. And so um, I think we need a separate night. Um, um, Damaris has a church on Friday night. I have church on Wednesday night, and then I'll teach English on uh, in person on Thursday night. So that leaves Monday and Tuesday. And she said, well, let's just do it Monday. It's okay for me. Okay. So um, what about starting that August 2nd? Okay. So, okay. Yes. So it would be the first Monday in August. So we'll do that last Thursday in July. And then the first Monday in August. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, all right. The next week, I go to travel to Atlanta again oh. because my aunts um, live in Atlanta, and my parents uh, go to to me to visit. It. Yes. Okay, así que maybe go Wednesday, um, Thursday, the next week. I'm trapped. Maybe I'm driving. <laughs> it's not all that far to drive. And once you get on the freeway and know what freeways to use, it's not hard. But Atlanta is a huge city. So be sure you know where you're going before you get there because it is big. And there are a lot of little cities around it. So you kind of have to know where you're going and be sure you know before you go. Yes, my, my aunts live in Canton, Georgia. Canton. <laughs> I don't know, but I know that there are a lot of small towns around Atlanta. Maybe. And so, um, and it could be, well, like, where I'm living is closer to Nashville than where you're living, but it's like we're living close to Nashville. And so we're still talked about being in the Nashville area. And it could be that some same thing for them. It could be considered the Atlanta area, but still be a little ways away. Mm -hmm. And then again, it could be one of those places that you have Atlanta and then you have all of these other little places kind of attached to it. Mm -hmm. And you never really know you're in one town and out of, in, into another. So um, you really do need to know how to get where you're going. My vacation in Puerto Rico is okay. It's a wonderful vacation. Oh, good. That's See, good. My friend, my friend, one year I, I don't see 
Okay, and go to the house, to dinner, go to the beach. It's uh, my family house. It's, it's good. Good. <laughs> was good, was good. <laughs> well, the thing of it is, ever so often you need a vacation yes. where you can just relax and enjoy your friends and family. Mm hmm now my family doesn't allow well, yours i don't how far is it to puerto rico where your family lives sorry my family what how far what distance in my family in puerto rico from here, from here. There. Okay. i need to do two planes because no uh, fly uh, direct, um, direct we fly to new york or new jersey no boston Stay north and then go to to puerto yeah, rico go south yeah 12 hours wow well, i was in the to fly and um, stay in new york three hours um then a uh, delay mm -hmm. because the, the clean is a uh, torn it's rainy oh uh, 12, 12 hours. Wow. Here's Conception. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, I didn't put the information on there this week. I'm, I've had bronchitis for over a month, and some days are just better than others. Wow. And so I'm sorry, but at least you found out how to get on. And um, um, Damaris and Lena should be coming on pretty soon, but it's getting late. So I wonder if we need to just go ahead and get started, and then if they come on they can join us um just a minute <coughs> sorry i may have to cough and hopefully i don't have to cough a lot but oh. it's just part of my problem hmm. okay let's look at our um <laughs> our share screen and the verse that we are learning today is found in Matthew chapter seven, verse 12. And it says, do for others what you want them to do for you. So I think of this, like if I were going to Puerto Rico, or if I were going to Mexico, or if I were going to uh, San Salvador and didn't know the language, I would need help. Mm -hmm. And um, so I feel like what I'm doing for you is what I would hope you would do for me if the situation was turned around and I was there where you were. So that's kind of what this is talking about. Uh, treating others nice, the way you want to be treated. You want to be treated nice, so you need to treat other people nice. And you don't meet everybody that's nice. Some people just aren't nice, or some people have um, an anger in them and make them, make them not nice. But if we work at being nice, then um, whether they're nice or not, we're not going to get angry in, back at them. We might get angry inside, but we can um, uh, not get angry and do something that's going to cause problems. So do for others what you want them to do for you. And this is found in Matthew chapter seven, verse 12. Okay. 
Now let's look at our uh, vowels. What is this one? A. And this one? E. And this one? I. And this one? O. And this one? U. All right. And remember, it sounds like we're doing them over and over and over again, but mm -hmm. sometimes when you're supposed to be spelling a word or telling me a, a letter, you don't remember it. Mm -hmm. So it's practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. It takes 50 times to learn a new word. So um, let's see here, where are we? So it's going to take a while to learn the new words. Okay, one of the things that we're learning in this unit is the names of uh, the various streets. Now, I live on Martindale Drive and on the street sign, it doesn't say drive, it just says DR. Doctor. <laughs> Oh, well, yes, but that's not what it stands for because it's on the street sign. Mm -hmm. And when you say it, you don't say dir or dr, you say drive. I've known people that for avenue, it's on the street sign, it says A-V-E, so they'll say av. But that's not what you're supposed to say. You say the full word avenue or it'll say BLV. The main street out here is Memorial Boulevard. And this is the way it's spelled on the sign, but this is what it is. And it's actually a French word. Okay, so usually street is spelled S-T, mm -hmm. lane is spelled in L-N, Road is spelled RD, Drive is spelled DR, Avenue is spelled AVE, Boulevard is spelled BLV, and I have a street near me that it's this, it's Point. Point. So, yes. And there may be others in your neighborhood. Um, and My address is Pike, Nashville Pike. Okay, so let's see here. So that's P I, whoops, K E, right? Mm -hmm. And how is it on the sign? No, remember what is the. Okay, it's probably P K. It might be something else, but it's probably PK. Okay. And it's called Nashville Pike because you go down that road to get to Nashville. Okay. In this, in this uh, place, um, the name, the avenue or drive, same the country, country it confused. Um, example, Nashville Pike. I don't live in Nashville, I live in Galatine. <laughs> and I'm it's called Nashville Pike because it's the road you take to get to Nashville. Okay. And that's where they're getting the idea. Okay. Same the Murphy Borough uh, Road. You know, it's the county, is the, the, the street. <laughs> I'm confused too much. <laughs> <laughs> and Murfreesboro is a town way down there. Uh huh. So, um, what some of these street names came from was that's the road that you use to get there. Okay. Now, the road out here, uh, the main road is called Memorial Boulevard, and it's Highway 41. And you use it and get down um, towards Nashville more. And it'll say Springfield Road or Springfield Highway. Okay. Oh, that's one that I forgot about. Yeah. 
uh, H I G H W A Y. That's H W Y. So this would be the the uh, abbreviation for highway. Now the the start of this is from um, the book. The first six here is from the book. And then I noticed that in my neighborhood, there's uh, one that's uh, the point. And then we have two from um, Nancy. So um, if you see any others, you're not sure what the word is, just ask me because some of this, remember it's confusing and we just have to uh, find out those details so that it won't be confusing for us. So I noticed that people are writing it down, so I'll just wait. All right. Now we stopped on page 120 in the text. And at the top of page 120, it says, ask for and give an address. So this is how you would ask for an address for someone. Well, like uh, your relatives that you're t talking about going to see Nancy. So you get there, you get in that area and you're not finding the road. So you go to someone and you say, where is this address? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what you would ask for in order to be able to find it. Um, so let's uh, go on. This is page 120. And it says, look at the addresses, listen and point, listen and repeat. 120, exercise A, listen and point. One, 1498 Bank Street. Okay. Two, 34 Park Avenue. Three, 527 Lake Drive. Four, 910 River Road. Five, 14 Cherry Lane. Six, five City Boulevard. Listen and repeat. One, 1498 Bank Street. 1498 Bank Street. Two, 34 Park Avenue. 34 Park Avenue. Three, 527 Lake Drive. 527 Lake Drive. 4. 910 River Road. 910 River Road. 5. 14 Cherry Lane. 14 Cherry Lane. 6. 5 City Boulevard. Five City Boulevard. Okay, now if you notice on number one, it's a four digit number. And what we do is break it up into two pieces. Mm -hmm. So it's 1498, not 1498 or um, 1498, it's 14 and then 98. And then on three, there's three numbers. So you say the first number by itself and then the last two together. So it becomes 527. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that's kind of the same thing. Any questions? Okay. So then uh, part B, listen for the address and circle A or B, and I'll play it through twice. And then if we need to, I'll play it through again. Page 120, exercise B. Listen for the address, circle A or B. One. 270 John Lane. 270 John Lane. 270. Two. 15 City Street. Three. 1460 Third Avenue. Four. 60 Park Drive. 5. 319 Sun Boulevard. Hey, 120. Exercise B. Listen for the address. Circle A or B. 1. 270 John Lane. 2. 15 City Street. 3. 1460 Third Avenue. 4. 60 Park Drive. 60 Park Drive. 5. 319 Sun Boulevard. Do I need to play it again? No. no. no it's okay. All right. So, um, Nancy, what is number one? Uh, letter B, 270 John Lane. Okay. And Conception, number two? Uh, letter A, 15 Series Street. Okay, and Nancy, number three. Letter A, 1463rd Avenue. Third. I have that one wrong. Okay, so number four. Who's uh, there will be uh, 60 Park Avenue. Park Drive. Okay, and now number five. Letter B, 319 Sun Boulevard. Okay, any questions? All right then. Um, then part C is the same thing, but you're going to be writing the numbers. So it'll give you an address and you write down the number. <clears throat> Page 120, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. One, 75 Sandy Boulevard. Two, 1325 West Avenue. Three, 13. five Main Street. Four, 836 Jones Road. Five, 1514 North Drive. Six, 26 Town Lane. Okay, now I'm going to do it again. Page 120, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. 
one. Seventy five Sandy Boulevard. Two. Thirteen twenty five West Avenue. Three. Five Main Street. Four. Eight thirty six Jones Road. Five. Fifteen fourteen North Drive. Six. 26 Town Lane. <laughs> okay, do I need to play it again? No, for me, no. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think it's harder this way than it was that previous one. Page 120, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. One. 75 Sandy Boulevard. Two. 1325 West Avenue. Three. Five Main Street. Four. Eight. 36 Jones Road. Five. 15 14 North Drive. 15 14 15. Six. 26 Town Lane. Okay, do I need to play it again? Uh, oh, thank you. Okay. So, conception number one, please. Uh, 17 5 Sand, Sandy Boulevard, Boulevard. Yes. And number two, Nancy. 13 25 West Avenue. And number three, conception. 5 Main Street. And number four, Nancy. 836 John Road. And number five? 15, um, 15, uh, 14 North Drive. And number six? 26 Town Lane. Okay, any questions? Mm -mm. Okay, another thing about this is it's working on numbers. And it's funny how some numbers you just don't use as much as others. And so it makes it a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Conception, I need to tell you um, about what has been decided. In August, we're going to start having in-person cl in classes again. And the in-person classes are going to be on Thursday night at 6.30 to 8. And I was wondering, should I um, try to do the uh, online at the same time? And my Sunday school class does it like that, and it's not very successful. So last week, I talked with Lena and um, Dabaris. And what, what they decided is that we would do it on Monday nights. So we would change uh, this class to Monday night mm -hmm. and um, uh, August 2nd would be the beginning. So that last Thursday in July would be on Thursday night for us. And then on August, that first Monday, which is just the next week, would be on uh, Monday night. So will that work for you? Um, online? Yes, this class, the online class. Yes, 
Okay. Uh, I from um, I'm Franklin. Um, is um, como le digo que es muy lejos para mí para ir allá, Nancy. ¿Qué te estás viviendo en Franklin ahora? Yeah. Okay. Es como una hora y diez para ir allá. Okay. Oh. Okay, uh, she say she live now in Franklin. Is distance oh. is long distance? Yes. Two hours, una hora y qué? It's ten minutes. Una hora y diez por ahí. One hours, one and ten minutes to Springfield. I believe it. It's mm -hmm. completely on the other side of Nashville. Mm -hmm. So it's like taking Gallatin and moving it to south of Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. So actually Concepcion is going to be living the furthest away of everybody. Mm -hmm. um, Lena lives in um, Hendersonville and uh, Nancy lives in Gallatin and John Maurice, I think, lives here in Springfield, but she wouldn't be able to come to the in-person class because her husband doesn't get home in time to take care of their little girl. So um, this works better. And someone was saying, is it really worth it? Um, I actually record every single lesson and you can go online and watch the recording. And um, I was telling someone about how to do that. And so I was doing it so that I could be sure that I was telling them right. And there are some of our classes that have eight views. That means eight people are watching it. So it's needed. It's really needed. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll continue to do it just like this, except in August, we'll change to Monday nights. And um, then on Thursdays, I'll do the in-person class here in Springfield. Miss Wanda is the same the same time, six p.m., six thirty p.m. to eight p.m. Yes. Okay. 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 It's perfect. So the only thing that'll be different will be the day. Okay. It's good. It's perfect. Yeah. It's well, perfect. I am so sorry about uh do um putting the information on the the. Out, putting the information out for you. I've been sick. I'm not, some days I think that heaven just sounds very, very good right now. And I just totally forgot to do it yesterday. I forgot all about it. <laughs> I knew that I was having class tonight. My neighbor came over this afternoon late and I told her now I've got to start class and you know things like that but putting the information on I, that just i forgot all about it but the good thing is it's always the same i do it again to remind people as a reminder so that um you know people will maybe don't have it on their phone that um their alarm. If it weren't for the alarm on my phone, there's a lot of things I wouldn't ever do. I just would forget. So that was one thing I forgot. So maybe I need to put that on my phone as a, a reminder on Wednesdays. Okay. Now we're back on the textbook on page 121. And up at the top, it's a uh, conversation. And if you look at the picture, there's a woman and there's a man and the man is telling about a building. And so um, that's what the idea of the conversation is. Page 121, exercise D. Listen. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's $700 a month. Listen and repeat. I'm looking for an apartment. 
oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's $700 a month. Okay, any questions? Now, a lot of the contractions that we've encountered are for is, like it says, what's the address? That's what is. There's an apartment, there is. It's, it is. But that first one, I'm, is I am. Mm -hmm. So that's what that one stands for. I am looking for an apartment. There's an apartment. What's the address? It's 1630. So um, not all contractions are going to make a, make a sense. These do. There's another one that is a, uh, the apostrophe D and it, it does, it's not the word that you think of. So that's why I try to tell you about these contractions. Okay. So Nancy, UBA and Concepcion UBB. Okay. I am, I'm looking for an apartment. Uh, oh, this an, an apartment for rent on my blog. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's seven, 700 a month. Okay, so Concepcion, you're A, and Nancy, you're B. Um, I am looking for a apartment. Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What, 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 what's the address? It's 16 Ferry River Street. How much is the rent? It's $700 a month. Okay, let's go back and do them again because um, for one thing, there's only the two of you. So that's only one trial each. And then also, it, um, if there's a little bit of problem with the word, the more practice, the better you get. So Nancy, UBA and Concepcion B. Okay. I'm looking for an apartment. Um, the, the, an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's seven hundred uh, eight a month. Okay, so Concepcion A and Nancy B. Uh, I am looking for a apartment. Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What? What is address? It's sixteen thirty River Street. How much is the rent? It's $700 a month. Okay, do we need to practice it again? Yes. Okay, so Nancy A and Concepcion B. Okay. Huh? I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, this <coughs> oh, a apartment for rent on me, my blog. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's 700 hey, a month. Okay, so Concepcion A and Nancy B. I am looking for a apartment. <clears throat> oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What is the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's $700 an amount. Okay, wait a minute, I can't spell. 
So, um, on that first line, I'm looking for an apartment. The an means the thing, same thing as a, is a. Mm -hmm. yeah, I should have put. Yeah. It's the same thing. The reason you use an is because there's a vowel there. So a apartment and is not is more difficult to say than an apartment mm -hmm. and so the um can uh the what most people do is say an apartment mm -hmm. so with any vowel a e i o or u you use the an and it breaks it up just a little bit more and makes it a little bit easier to say and to understand Okay, any questions? In letter B, the, the last letter B, it's $700 a month. Yes, and it's A because it's a consonant. Okay. It still means the an, but it's a consonant. It's not a vowel like um, an apartment. And when you use the letter N, the pronunciation is N. That's right. N. N. Like a woman's name, Ann. 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 Okay. Any other questions? N. Amen. No. Thank you. All right, uh, do we need to do the conversation again? For me, it's okay? Concession? It's okay. Okay. So then E, it says, listen again, circle yes or no. Yes. If the sentence is in the conversation, it's a yes. Mm -hmm. If it's not in the conversation, it's a no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, this one is pretty short. So Nancy, what's number one? There is an apartment for rent on the woman woman's block. Uh, no. So whose block is it on? The men's <laughs> block. <laughs> yes. Okay. And number two, Concepcion. The address is uh, twelve uh, sixteen River Street. No. So what is the address? Sixteen. River Street. Okay, and number three, Nancy. The rent is seven hundred um, dollars a month. Yes. Okay. Now remember, when you're talking about money, if it's clear you're talking about money, you don't have to say the dollars. But if it's not quite clear it's better to say the dollars just to be sure everyone understands. Okay. All right. So we practice the conversation. That's part F. And then in G, you're going to put different things into the conversation. So look at um, below this um, conversation. It says conversation one, and it has an advertisement there. So, um, what, um, how many bedrooms are in conversation one? One. And what's the address? C50A River Drive. And how much is the rent? 475 months. Okay. That slash can mean either A or uh, it could be per, but it's it's talking about up here, you say $700 a month. That slash stands for that uh. 
It means the same thing. Okay, now in conversation two, how many bedrooms? Three. And what's the address? Um, 1920 Park Lane. And what's the rent? 97, 75, 50 uh, a month. Okay. This is what you said. This is the number that you said. It's just 975 or 975. Do you see that? It's just 975. It's not, uh, um, you said 9750, and this is what you said. So it's just 975 or 975. Okay? okay. Is that a little more clear? Is Cora say 975? You can say it 975, or you can just say 975. It's, if it's clear, you're just talking about hundreds. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make it a little bit more clear when I was explaining about it. Okay. And number three, how many bedrooms? Two. And what's the address? 19 Ban Street. And what's the rent? Seven fifty mon a mon. Right. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. All right. So, on the two, the the second and third B lines, you use the information from one of these. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Nancy, you start A, and Concepcion, you start B. Okay. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, three, three, a apartment for rent on my blog. What's the address? Um, six, six fifty-eight River Drive. How much is the rent? Um, five. Okay. okay. So Concepcion, you be A, and Nancy, you be B. Okay. Oh, there are an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 658 River Drive. But it's rent. It, it's the it's 475 mon, a mon. Okay, do you want to do it again and do a different one or you think you know it? For me, again, this, it's okay. Okay, so maybe use one of the other conversations. So Nancy, you be A and Concepcion, you be B. Conversation number two or number one? Two. Two, okay. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, three, 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 eight apartment for rent on my blog. What's, uh, what's the address? Uh, 90, 90, 20 Park Lane. How much is the rent? Uh, Night seven 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 fifteen eight a month. Okay. Okay. So now Nancy, you be B and Concepcion, you be A. Okay. I am looking for a apartment. Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What is what is the address? Nineteen twenty Park Lane. How much is the rent? Nine seventy-five months a month. All right. Okay. So do you want to do it again, or do you think we've done it enough? The other conversation. You want to do number three? Yes. Okay. 
So Nancy A and Concepcion, your B. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, 3A apartment for rent. What's the address? Uh, 90 Bank Street. How much is the rent? Seven fifteen a month. Okay, now change in Concepcion, your A, and Nancy, your B. I am looking for a apartment. Oh, there an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 19 Band Street. How much is the rent? Seven fifteen a month. Okay. Llévaselo. Mm -hmm. Llévate a Luca. Y cierra la puerta, por favor. Corre. Sorry. <laughs> so down at the bottom, you're going to ask, what's your address? So Nancy, yeah. what's your address? My address. And 2325 Nashville Pike. Apartment 11, 1137. <laughs> okay. And so then Nancy, you ask Concepcion. Concepcion, what is your address? Uh, 211 Maple Drive. Okay, now Concepcion, you'll ask me. Uh, Miss Wanda, what is address? I uh, forgot, <laughs> 1701 Martindale Drive, Springfield. Okay. Okay. So any questions on that? No. All right. So go to the workbook and page 80. 80. Okay, so you're going to look at the pictures and then complete the addresses. And at the beginning, you just put one part of the, the number, but towards the end, you have to put the whole thing. So you're just copying what they've got there in the picture. just had one child but I guess she has two <laughs> I mean this one isn't crying <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so let us know when you finish, Conception. Yes. You're finished now or no? Yeah. Oh, all right. So, um, Conception, what's number one? Uh, 14 Cherry Lane. Okay, and Nancy, number two? 14 and 98 Band Street. Okay, and Conception, three? Uh, five City Boulevard. Okay, and number four? 19 River Road. And number five? 34 Park Avenue. And number six? 527 Late Drive. And number seven? 14 Cherry Lane. And number eight? 1498 Band Street. Now see, these are the same pictures and the same addresses, um, but it has them in a different order. Okay, any question on that? All right, in part B, it says read the apartment ad and circle A or B. Is everyone finished? Yeah. All right. Conception number one. What what is address? Uh letter A five forty-nine Oregon Avenue. Actually, that's orange naranja. Naranja. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The orange, the fruit. Yeah. Orange Avenue. Yes. All right, and number two, Nancy. How much is the rent? Let it be six seventy-five month a month. Okay, and number three, Concepcion. Um, letter A, uh, thirteen twenty-six. That cedar. It's the name of a type of tree. It's cedar. Theater. Theater. And yeah. actually, there'll be um, pieces of furniture like a cedar cabinet that um, it helps to keep moths out and things like that. So you can put your woolens in and they'll be safe. Oh, yeah. So that's what that word is. 
Okay, and number four, Nancy? How much is the rent? Nine ninety five a month. And number five, Concepcion? What is the rent? No, the address, sorry. Uh, letter A, uh, 15 Ocean Drive. Okay, and number six. How much is the rent? Let it be a fifty a month. Okay. So that one was pretty easy because there's an address and uh, rent on each one, and so it's not an either or. It's just pretty obvious. Now I need to change the CD and remember. On the workbook, the CD in the workbook is the same CD that I'm using. And it says play track 46. Okay, and I'll play it through twice because, and uh, even three or four times, whatever you need, because this again is actually writing the numbers down. And it's harder to write the numbers down than to just circle a certain letter. Page 81, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. One. 13 Martin Street. Two. 50 Angelo Drive. Three. 167 Green Boulevard. Four. 20 South Lane. Five. 184 Meadow Road. Six. 1245 Erie Avenue. Now I'll do it again. Page 81, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. One. 13 Martin Street. Martin Street. Two. 50 Angelo Drive. And three. 167 Green Boulevard. Four. 20 South Lane. Five. 184 Meadow Road. Six. 1245 Erie Avenue. Now do it again. Page 81. Exercise C. Listen. Complete the addresses. One. 13 Martin Street. Martin Street. Two. 50 Angelo Drive. Angelo Drive. Three. 167 Green Boulevard. Four. 20. South Lane. Okay. Five. 80. 184 Meadow mm -hmm. Road. Mm -hmm. Six. 1245 Erie Avenue. Okay, do I need to do it again? No. All right. So, What's number one, Nancy? 13 Martin Street. Okay, and number two, um, Concepcion? 50 Angelo Drive. All right, and number three? 167 uh, Green Boulevard. Yes, 167. 167. 167. 
Okay, and then um, number four, Concepcion. Bunny Sao Lane. Okay, and number five. One eighty four Meadow Road. That's meadow, like um, a grassy area. Grassy. That's oh. what that word is, meadow. It's, it's like a grassy area. There might be flowers blooming in the spring, but it's a, a grassy area and like um, people will put their cows on it to eat. So that's that's called a meadow. Okay. All right, and then number six, Concepcion. 1245 Erie Avenue. Okay, and Erie, it's a, um, the name of a lake up in New York and it's the name of a canal and things like that, but it's up in, in New York in that area. So it's not a common name down in this area. This area, like over in Atlanta, you're going to hear a lot of Indian kinds of names. So um, it depends where you live as to what kind of names you're going to hear. All right, now back to the other book. And this is page 122. The text, page 122. Okay, on this one, it's write the abbreviation. Well, I've gone over a lot of these. There's only one of them that I haven't gone over. And if you can get the rest of them, then there's only one left. So the other thing about on the street signs, it will not have a period. Like on this, it has street, it has ST period. The period isn't going to be on the, the street sign. It's just going to be the ST. And it's usually going to be all in capital letters. All right, so you have the seven um, full words and then you write the abbreviation from the list. Is everyone finished? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, like I said, on these, it has uh, the period and you don't necessarily have to do the, say the period. In fact, on a letter, 
if you receive a letter from a business, a lot of times it won't have any periods and it won't have commas. It, it's just, I guess people are lazy, I don't know. All right, so Concepcion number one. Um, number one street, S, T. Okay, and Nancy? Number two avenue, A, B, E. Number three drive, S, D, R. Okay. Number four lane, L, N. Number five road, R, Z. Number six boulevard, B, L, B, D. Number seven, uh, apartment, A, P, T. Okay. So any questions? No. So you, um, if you live in an apartment, you don't have to put that whole word there. You can just put the A, P, T. And if you read on the envelope, um, it has uh, the, up in the left-hand corner is the person that it came from. So what's the name of the person who wrote the envelope? The person who? Who wrote the envelope, who wrote the letter. Wrote it the, the people to send the letter? Yes, it's uh, on the left-hand side. Okay, in the last, Gustavo Pineda? Yes. All right, now what was his address? Um, 9106 River Road. Apartment 115. Okay. And see, when you um, receive a letter typed from a business, it's not going to have those uh, periods in there. It's just going to have the RD and then the APT. Okay. And what's the city that he's in? Chicago. In a the state, yes. Illinois? Yes. yes. And what's his zip code? Six, 6623. Okay. And okay. these days, you pretty much have to have the zip code. In fact, I received a letter that had my address completely wrong. I mean, it wasn't even an old address. It was completely wrong. But the zip code was right. So somebody in the post office got it to me. So be sure that you put the zip code on there. Okay, now who is the letter going to? To manager. So this would be the person who is renting out the apartments. And this is the person that you would talk to, to um, rent an apartment, to see an apartment, to find out about an apartment. So this is the manager, it's not the owner. Now, sometimes if it's a large complex, uh, the owner might be a big corporation. It might not be one person. On a small complex, it might be one person. And if it's um, a smaller building, it may be that you talk with the owner and then it's the landlord or landlady. Okay, so what is the, um, the manager, a uh, manager of? Who in the apartment? Right. And what's their address? Seven, 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 77. Uh, 50. Um, <laughs> Park Avenue. <laughs> you guys got it. It took both of you, but you got it. Okay, so what's the city? Chicago. And the state? Illinois. And the zip code? 60647. And see, on a large city, the zip code is going to be different for different areas of the city. Uh, in Nashville. I don't know how many zip codes there are, but there are quite a few. In Albuquerque, where I'm from, there are like 
a dozen, 12 zip codes. There are a lot of zip codes because it's so large. All right, now then C, read the, um, read the envelope again and circle A or B. Okay, now there's something that it's asking you there that I didn't say. Um, the, the address in the upper left-hand corner where the letter is from is the return address. And so when you send a letter, it's a good idea to put your return address on there so that if it somehow is addressed incorrectly, or the person has moved or something like that, it'll come back to you. All right. So then uh, Concepcion, what's number one? What is the, the letter from uh, letter B, Gustavo Pinedo? Yes. And number two. What is the return address, letter A, 9106? River Drive, River Drive, Road, sorry, Road, Road, Road. 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 <laughs> okay, and number three? What is, is the letter going, um, letter B, 7754 Park Avenue? Okay, and number four? What is the zip code of Wendy Apartments? Letter A, 60647. Okay, and number five. Oh, <clears throat> what is Miss Mr. Pineda zip code? Uh, letter A, uh, 6023. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. All right, then. So now we're going to page 123. And you're going to be writing about yourself. Mm -hmm. So on part D, you're writing about yourself. And then on part E, you're going to be asking the other person for their information. So uh, fill out part D. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Nancy, tell about yourself. Okay. My name is Nancy Griffin. Um, my address. That is 
2325 Nashville Pike, apartment 1137. Um, I live in the city Galati, state Tennessee. Um, my zip code is 37066. Okay, so Concepcion, tell about yourself. My name is Concepcion. Um, my address is 211 um, Maple Drive. And city is Franklin. State is um, Tennessee. Uh, zip code is 37036. Sixty-four. Okay. Any questions? No. All right. Now, then on part E, Nancy's going to be asking Concepcion her information and writing it down. Concepcion, what's your first and last name? Um, is Concepcion. And your last name? Um, Sierra. Okay. What's your street address? Uh, 211 Maple Drive. 211. 211. Okay. Michael? My Maple Drive. Maple. Maple. Okay. What? Uh, what's your city and state? Franklin, Tennessee. What's your city code? 37064. Four. Okay. okay. Now, Concepcion, you ask Nancy. What is your first and last name? Nancy Griffin. What is your street address? 23, 20, Nash 20. 23, 20, 25, Nashville Pike. What, what is your seat on the street? Galati, Tennessee. What is your zip code? Three seven zero six six. Okay. Okay. So now, Nancy, you tell about Concepcion. Information the Concepcion. Okay. Um, Chine, uh, Chine is Concepcion Sierra. The address, uh, street address, two one two eleven uh, Maple Drive. And the city is Franklin, a state Tennessee, and zip code three seven zero six four. All right. Now Concepcion, you tell about Nancy. <laughs> okay. Um uh your name um last name is Nancy Chris Nancy Crispin. Uh your address is twenty three twenty five Nashville Pike. Um <clears throat> and the city is Galatin uh and the state is Tennessee. Uh, the zip code is 37066. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So now you, it, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know, maybe your book is easier to see. But here it's an envelope. There's the stamp. And so you fill out the envelope with um, your information where it goes and the other person's information where that goes. And it's eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. We were busy doing this when I realized how close to eight o'clock it was. Mm -hmm. 
So um, I think we've covered everything that we need to cover for today. So any questions? No. Well, have a good week. Thank you, you too. And Thanks. hopefully I'll see you next week. Thanks. And I'm afraid I might have messed up with uh, Lena and um, um, the other lady um, that I, you know, I messed up this week. Okay, just messed up. That's all I can say. Oh. So anyway, maybe we'll get it all straightened out for next week. And everybody, and then if everybody comes, there'll be four students. So that'll be nice. I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> you too. I'm getting tired of being sick and tired. Wow. I've been to the doctor all, um, at least once a week and sometimes twice since April. Wow. So I'm, I'm ready to be over with. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's, I've got some other things I need to do. <laughs> and actually, um, uh, Tuesday, I pretty much spent in bed. Wow. Just, oh, well, but I'm not coughing like I was. So they've given me something else for that. So that helps. So we'll just see. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much for coming Bye. to class. Thank you. And you have a good week. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.